Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, what the world is listening to. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, The Hot Commodity, and we are jumping right back into the Attitude Era Season 2, covering WWF SmackDown live on November 4th, 1999 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And to kick off SmackDown, we have the WWF Tag Team Championships on the line. The champions, the Holly, is defending against Mankind and Al Snow. During the match, we see Val Venus watching backstage. Mankind hits Crash Holly with a double arm DT. And we have new WWF Tag Team Champions in Mankind and Al Snow. Uh, we'll see what happens on Raw because this title doesn't last too long on them. But for now, Mankind and Al Snow are the champions. Uh, Jim Ross is talking to Stone Cold Steve Austin backstage. And Jim Ross on last week's episode of Raw's War said as it was ending that he thought that Vince might have actually intentionally hit Shane. Austin's questioning Jim Ross, asking him what he meant. And Jim's like, I just said that and Jess, I wasn't being serious. I really don't think that Vince meant to hit Shane. Next up, Tess is taking on D'Lo Brown. The Mean Street Posse come out on the stage during the match. Uh, D'Lo Brown jumps off the top and looks to have hurt his knee, but he rolls up Tess and gets the victory. Random match here on SmackDown between these two. But uh, D'Lo Brown gets the victory nonetheless. The Rock is then seen talking to Jim Ross, and um, he's asking him again about, you know, did you mean what you said about Vince actually meaning to attack Shane? And Jim Ross says, I was talking about the Vince McMahon of the old. We keep getting little hints that Vince might have actually meant to hurt his own son. Next up, two cool take on the Hardy Boys with Terry Runnels. Matt hits Sky to with a twist of fate. Scotty does the worm, but Terry distracts Scotty and slaps him. And Jeff hits Sky Cotty with a swanton bomb. The Hardy Boys continue on their winning streak here in the WWF. Kane and Tori are then seen talking to Jim Ross. And um, Jim Ross tells them he was talking off the cuff. He really doesn't think that Vince meant harm. We get another promo for Kurt Angle, who will be debuting soon. We see a limo arrive to the arena, and it's Vince McMahon. Uh, the WWF European champion, the British Bulldog, with the Mean Street Posse defending against Edge. During the match, Christian and the Headbangers come down to the ring. Christian Deed, he's the British Bulldog on the floor. Edge spares the Bulldog, but then the Mean, mean Street Posse attack Edge. Everyone brawls, and the match is thrown out as a no contest. Vince McMahon is then seen yelling at Jim Ross backstage. Jim apologizes to Vince, and Vince is still upset about being blamed for this attack. Mankind is seen going to a strip club looking for Val Venus. D Generation X comes out next. Triple H says, It seems to me that the world couldn't cannot get enough of us. The entire world is in love with DX. We're the coolest guys here. Monday, you saw the great DX in all of our glory. Triple H drags of brags about DX, their attacks on everybody on Raw. Triple H says, the one thing I couldn't help but hear Jim Ross say, do you think it was a mistake for Vince McMahon to hit Shane? You think it was an accident? DX will let you in on the best kept secret today. Let's bring out the newest member of D-Generation X, Vince McMahon. They have a DX shirt for Vince. Vince comes out. Vince says, me join DX. I'd rather join WCW than join DX. I hope you had all your fun. In that ring, DX will compete in a Survivor Series elimination match against Shane McMahon, Kane, The Rock, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Funny promo there with Vince basically saying he'd rather join WCW than DX, which is pretty shitty because WCW sucked at that point. Mankind is then seen going to a peep show looking for Val Venus. Still doesn't get any luck. Uh, the Godfather comes out to take on Chris Jericho. Jericho says he's going to make China get on her knees and kiss his intercontinental title and make China his hoe. Stevie Richards comes out dressed as a hoe. Uh, he gets in the ring. Stevie kissed Jericho, and Godfather lands a hoe train to defeat Chris Jericho. Steve Richards has been a thorn in Jericho's side the past couple of weeks, but nonetheless, Godfather gets the win. Mankind's car is towed um, at the peep show, and he is not happy about it. Uh, Val Venus, I'm sorry, Vince McMahon tries to talk to Stone Cold Steve Austin, but Austin locks himself in his room. Obviously, Austin does not think that Vince has his best interests. Um, Val Venus attacks Al Snow and tells him to tell Mankind to find him before he finds Mankind. 
WWF Hardcore Champion, the Big Boss Man, taking on the Big Show here. This ends up being a brawl with the Big Show uh, fighting to the floor with, with Boss Man. Show choke slams the Big Boss Man and Prince Albert and many officials. And obviously, the Big Show is going to get in big trouble for this. We've made it to our main event, the Survivor Series elimination match. The Rock, Kane, Shane McMahon, and Stone Cold Steve Austin versus DX. Um, Kane hits a flying clothesline to X-Pac, but then Mr. Aslo blows Kane. It's a famous X Factor, and Kane is eliminated. X Pac hits an X Factor on Shane. Shane is gone, but then the Rock gets advantage of the Road Dog and hits a rock bottom. Road Dog is the first man from DX gone. Austin ends up nailing a stunner to X Pac. X Pac is gone. Um, the Rock rolls up Mr. Ass. He's gone. Triple H pedigrees the Rock, and the Rock is gone. And it comes down to Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H. Uh, Vince McMahon grabs a steel chair. He goes to hit Triple H with the chair, but he accidentally hits Stone Cold Steve Austin. Triple H pins Stone Cold Steve Austin with the help from Vince McMahon. And Vince is going to have a lot of explaining to do on Raw's war. Not only did he hit Shane McMahon on Raw, he now hits Stone Cold Steve Austin on SmackDown. By accident, of course, but Austin's not going to care. Survivor Series a couple weeks away. A lot more ads here are coming your way. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell on YouTube. Check us out on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, wherever you get your podcasts. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.